Hi, thanks for joining this Acumatica video on accounts payable aging and reports. So, you know, one of the challenges that a lot of people have is the ability to make heads or tails of their payables and all their invoices. So Acumatica makes it pretty easy. So if we go into payables, there's a couple of really cool screens that really help in this process. So some of the obvious screens, some of the traditional reports that you sh should expect are the AP aging pass due. So if we run this report, we can run it by summary or detailed. We can break it up by a company or a subsequent branch underneath by vendor class or specific vendor. And then in Acumatica, you can also do additional sorts and filters. So you can come in here and pick a, a certain filter if you want. So that's nice. So we'll run this report. And this gives us, by vendor, all the individual invoices that are due. And you can drill into your invoice just by clicking on the invoice number. So there's an invoice to ADP. Now, if we go back and we run our summary report, you can see basically just the vendors and their summary amounts in different aging buckets and the total balance. So the other thing we can do is, and this is new in 2019 R1, is we have this tree view that groups together components of the report based on the vendor in this case. Now with this report, I can send it along to an executive in the company or somebody responsible for accounts payable. So you can respond, you can send an email right from here and it'll send the attached report. So these are standard reports that uh, most accounting systems have. So, but under payables, we have an inquiry screen called vendor summary. And what this allows us to do, so this screen shows all of our vendors and their balances. So one of the things I like to do here too, if you don't have multi-currency, is you can come in here, of course you can move columns around, but over here you can configure your columns. And I might go in here and take all of my currency columns out so that I'm left with some of these columns are, are double dipping the same information. So, but this gives me my beginning balance, ending balance, the last period there was activity, period to date purchases and payments. It's a really nice screen. Now you can click on any column and sort the way you want. So here I'm showing uh, Westerly Good Foods has the largest balance. Now you can break this down by period if you want. If you wanted to show activity maybe in this period, we'll see what the balances are for this period, 6 2019. Not a lot of activity. As you can see, the last activity was 4 2018. So if I change this to 2018, some of these other columns will start to get populated. Being a demo database, you'd expect this. Let me get rid of this field. Vendor class allows us to group by our vendor category or class. So that's nice. And then over here, we can filter by AP account. Acumatica allows you to have different AP liability accounts and you could define these in each of your vendors. So there may be a scenario where you want to group all of your liability for AP into different buckets, such as maybe vendor class. So all of our product vendors might be one AP liability account, whereas your general and administrative and maybe services could be different liability accounts. Now, if I double click on one of these records, Acumatica will give us a breakdown of all the open invoices for this particular vendor. So it's filled this filter in for us on the screen. Now, this is nice because if I'm on the phone with a vendor and maybe I don't have the invoice they're referring to or I receive a statement and I can't find that open invoice, I can always open these up. 
I can check into it, see if it's had any applications, payment applications to it. This one has a partial payment, but notice the balance is still the same as the amount of the invoice. That's because if we drill down into this payment, we'll notice it's not posted yet. So if we post this, and then we refresh this, you now notice there's no balance. Okay, so this is really helpful. So show all documents will show our entire history of checks and bills, even if they have a zero balance. So this is nice for history. And one of the things I always do with these detail screens is I create a filter to show me, first off, all my invoices and any kind of credits to the vendor. So I would create a filter here where if the type equals bill or the type equals a debit adjustment or type equals a credit and or conditions we always encapsulate with parentheses. So we'll save this and this will be invoices, etc. And then the other thing I do is I create another filter for payments because it's nice to know when's the last payment that went out to this vendor. So for that, I'll remove all these and I'll simply add type equals check. Now when I hit apply here, you notice I get these nice filters. So this shows all my invoices, this shows all my payments. My last check to this vendor was on February 16th and it makes it easy to, to make heads or tails of everything. So the other thing you could do here, we turn off show all documents, is we can include unreleased documents. So this will show anything that's not posted yet or is in the hold or balanced state. And as you can see, this vendor has nothing. So that's it. If you have any questions, please wait to the end of the video for our contact us line. Thanks so much for watching.